Meow, meow. It's Women's Month and let's talk about women in the Philippines during World War II. Let's remember the stories of the young girls and women who were objectified during these dark years. The Japanese called them Iyan Fu, which meant comforting, consoling women. Pero sa totoo lang, pilitan yun. We know them today as comfort women. They were girls and women forced into carnal slavery by the Japanese forces, not just in the Philippines, but in other occupied countries before and during World War II. Maria Rosa Luna Henson wrote one of the early accounts of comfort women in the Philippines in the book Comfort Woman, Slave of Destiny. It was released in 1992. She wrote about how Japanese soldiers violated her at the age of 14, her anger that led to joining the Hukla Bahap, and the nine months she was held in a comfort station with other women. Her book led to more women coming out to share their stories. In December 1993, they filed a class action suit together with women from Korea and China asking for the inclusion of Japanese wartime atrocities in Japanese history books and for monetary reparations. Her journey inspired the staging of Nana Rosa by the UP Playwrights Theater in 2020. The comfort stations were organized all over the country from Manila to Davao. The Bahay na Pula in San Ildefonso, Bulacan was one of the most notorious comfort stations. More than 100 girls and women were abducted then held there. Many were fatally injured in this house. The derelict structure still stands as a reminder of the suffering the community endured. Some say the abandoned house is haunted. The Battle of Manila between February and March 1945 was when more atrocities against children and women happened. They were used as human shields and were easy targets. The original Bayview Hotel in Malate was taken over by Japanese soldiers and the girls and women who took shelter there were violated. Women were not the only victims. In Manila, cross-dressing male stage performers were arrested and taken to the Rizal Memorial Complex. They were held under the same conditions as comfort women. Among them was Walter Dempster Jr., known on stage as Walterina Markova. His story was made into a film, Markova Comfort Gay, in 2000, starring Dolphy. Japan created the Asian Women's Fund to handle claims of comfort women. Lola Rosa got $26,000 before she passed away in 1997. As of 2014, among the 364 recipients of Monetary Atonement, 211 people or 57% were Filipinos. In December 2017, the Manila Comfort Women Memorial, a two-meter bronze statue designed by Jonas Rosses, was erected along the Manila Baywalk. It was controversial in diplomatic and political circles. Japan filed complaints, advocates defended the statue, DFA got involved, Duterte washed his hands. In the end, DPWH took down the statue for a supposed Baywalk improvement project. The artist took the statue back to his studio in Antipolo, where it was eventually stolen. Wala na si na Lola. Konti na lang sila. The least we can do as citizens who want to honor them is to remember their stories and to insist on the government's responsibility in ending discrimination of women and girls, especially the most vulnerable. Odiba.